From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. What the hell is going on here? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Coming up this hour on the Tom Likas Show, Cheech and Chong will join us here in studio. Coming up within the next 15 minutes. In the meantime, we are talking with Janella Spears of Sweet Home, Oregon. She was scammed out of $400,000 in the famous Nigerian email scam. And uh, looks like her uh, husband's going to have to go back to work or do something to uh, make up for some of the cash that was uh, sent away. Our telephone number, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here, 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to... um, Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Hi. I don't understand. I am 34 years old, and I have more intelligence than than this woman who obviously is an educated woman. I don't understand falling for this. If it's, you know, everybody knows that fraud comes out of Nigeria. Everybody. Okay. Now, you tell me that... Let's put it this way. Can you have a proof? Do you have 100% proof in front of you that this is not fraud? This is the hard part. Nobody asks for money in order to give money. It's been all over the news for years. In fact, even now, even on Craigslist, I'm looking for a rental to rent, and on Craigslist, people will list, you know, $1,200 home in the San Francisco Bay Area, you don't want to rent three bedroom homes in San Francisco for twelve hundred dollars. And when you email them and say, What tell me about your house, they say, Well, I'm in Nigeria on work. I have the keys, send me the money and I'll send you the keys. Red flag, hello, sending money for something that's fraudulent. Well, I couldn't say that everything sending money up front is fraudulent and that's the one reason why I was hundred uh, percent uh duped by it, you might say. But aren't you an educated woman? Don't yes. you hold yourself a little better than that? Yes. Not some and pick from Backwoods, Indiana. You're an educated woman. Right. You should know better. Well, when you have, the problem is that people lie to you, and when uh, I'm not used to people lying to me, and that's the problem. problem. Okay. Now, I, th- I know where you're from. I, and my, my husband is from the Oregon area, from Oregon. And I understand it may be a small community, but come, people lie. This is the 20, you know, this is 2008. People lie all the time. Look at our president. Look at everything around us. Everybody lies to get what they want. If someone is asking you for a large sum of money, they're lying. They can't show you proof. You can't get a hold of them. They're from Nigeria, for for goodness sake. It's a lie. Yeah, and that, you know... The hard part is to say, is it uh, 100% lie, or is there any truth to it, or is there any proof to it? And so that's why I've tried to do uh, um, research to find out whether it is true or whether it is a lie. And in the meantime, you know, um, just like that other man, he said, that called in, he said, well, they first asked me for 500, and then they cut it down to 250. They've done that to me, too. And uh, so then, I, then I think to myself, well, what's two fifty? Let's try and get it, see if it'll come with two fifty. And so then it doesn't come for two fifty, and so then you're stuck. You see what I mean? And the problem is, it goes on and on. And yes, you're right. I have to stop, and the, you have to make, you have to draw the line and say, yes, these people are definitely lying to me, and there's just no truth in it at all. Uh, you know, it's just, you just have to, to ignore it. And I've had family members tell me, you've got to ignore it. You've got to stop it. And I've other, have other people say, well, you're addicted to it. You need to go into counseling because you're addicted to it. I said, no, I'm not addicted to it. It hurts. Every single time that you, that, uh, I try to quote unquote fix it, it comes out a plop. And so, you know, the, uh, getting professional help, yes, I've got, uh, I've asked uh, and hired several lawyers to try and help me with it because I am just a, a regular person. I'm not a, a lawyer, and that's why I've hired lawyers. And I've hired lawyers here in America, and I've hired lawyers over in Africa, both. And I've actually hired a lawyer over in England. And uh, paying the lawyer expenses is most of the uh, is quite a bit of the where that hundred and where some of that uh, thousands of dollars has gone to is paying the lawyer expenses. 
it hasn't been all to the, to the Nigerian scam people. Uh, but like I said, I've had to pay lawyer expenses, and that is included in that 400000 Not David. You're on the Tom Likas Show with Janella Spears. Hello. Hello. Yeah, where did you get $400,000? <laughs> well, like I said, it did, I did not have... It, Two and a half years ago, I couldn't even say that I was worth $400,000. Uh, the thing that's amazing is that my house is only, I only mortgaged my house for 150000 That's all I've mortgaged my house for. So I don't have a house that's worth that much. Uh, my car is only worth $27,000. Uh, the problem is, is that all of that 400000 is still not 100% paid for because I owe $90,000 still in credit card uh, bills. So $90,000... Wait a minute, so you, you, you took out cash advances on your credit cards? Right, so $90,000 is, is it for that, uh, for crash, cash advances on the credit card. And then the problem is, again, I didn't have that much money. Uh, the people that I had, people from Canada... Uh, who said that they had the Sun Bank and they gave me their bank account number, they gave me their phone number, they said they were going to make a deposit to my credit cards to pay off my credit cards. And uh, so then they pay off my credit cards and then uh, no more than a week later they renege their payment and then they've asked me to pay them back as well so I pay them back. And so now I'm here I'm all my credit card uh, balances are now doubled. And I didn't even know What that were you possible. paying them back for? Well, they, they quote unquote lent me the money to pay off my credit creditors, and so then I ter, in turn pay them back what they lent me, and then uh, a week after I pay them back, then they renege their payment on the credit cards, and I didn't even know that that was possible. Oh, I had sure. no idea that was. There possible. are chargebacks on credit cards all the time. To re, to to to. Uh, Default on a credit card payment sure. after a week? How about you send an international check to a bank for $40,000? And so they credit your credit card for the $40,000. They zero out the balance. But it takes two or three weeks for an international check to work its way through the system. And two or three weeks later, they find out that the uh, check was from a defunct account or the account had no money in it. And then the payment is reversed. Well, they didn't. They, it wasn't. Didn't work out that way. They said that there was money in it. They checked it out. They verified it. Who the did? Credit card company the verified it. The credit it. The card company there. verified it. The credit card companies verified it. I, it was a three-way conversation with the credit card person, the person who was giving me the the money, and the bank. Are you sure? Did you initiate that call? I was call? there. No, I was there. I, yes, I initiated the and phone. And did you and know that the number you were calling was actually a credit card company? It was the bank. It was Sun Bank. Yeah, but wait a minute. What, what did Canada have to do with this? It was the person in Canada who has the Sun Bank is the one who paid my creditors over here. But do you do business with Sun Bank? No, it was the other man who did business with Oh, Sun so you bank. never talked to your own credit card company. Uh, the credit card company is the one who called the bank who verified it that said that, yes, there's money there. So the credit card company, you spoke to the credit card yes, company. Yes, it was a three-way conversation between no, myself. No, 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 but did you initiate the call? No, the credit card company initiated the call, not me. So, in other words, the call could have come from anybody. It could have come from a guy in a phone booth, or it could have come from another country, or it could have come from anywhere. Well, when somebody says that it's the credit card company of you MBNA, and, they, and the that. phone number is there for on your caller ID, that verifying it's a 1-800 number for M MBNA. And you know you're not aware that people can uh, spook uh, caller IDs. But for, I, I got a call. I'm not making this up. I got a call from a telephone solicitor recently. And the name was listed as Pick Up, It's Me. No, I, I haven't. I'm not aware of that. I'm yeah. not aware that, that people could... Uh, um, spoof caller ID. Spoof yes. caller IDs, no. Yeah, and that's what scammers do. Uh, David, thank you for the call. I, look, I, I know you've been through a lot, and you've been a good sport to talk to us about all of this, because uh, uh, if any good will come out of this, Janella, uh, once people have heard your story, hopefully they will not fall for that scam themselves.
Right, I know, and, and that's the whole point of me coming uh, public with it and giving my embarrassment out, because it's definitely embarrassing to me, because, sure, yes, I ha- actually have a master's degree in my college, and so I'm not a stupid individual. Not at all. That uh, when you're sitting here going, uh, okay, why did somebody like this fall for it? Why are you that stupid? And like I said, the whole... I think maybe because I am a college graduate, you're having to do research, you're having to do proof, you're having to do uh, verification. And because I have tried very hard to do it myself, uh, I've asked other people to help me, and the other people that help me, they're they're not interested in helping me. So that since the other people are not interested in helping me, uh, including FBI, including police, including uh, even my son-in-law who says that he works with computers and uh, he says, look at the addresses. The addresses are bogus. Uh, so actually he gave me more help than anybody else because when you see that it's a Yahoo address, it's a bogus address, the same way with the Gmail. And now it's, uh, they're trying to uh, uh, change it uh, because if you use government, you put the G with a period behind it and not just Gmail is, is Google. So you know, they're trying to fool you that way, you know, so... I did learn to watch the addresses and to see which ones are true and which ones are not true. Amazing. Well, Janella, thank you uh, for talking to us and telling us your story. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I hope I've helped some people. And, and yes, I, I feel like a stupid idiot. But, you know, that's the way it happens. And uh, I've learned from it as well. And I hope other people learn from it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Janella Spears of Sweet Home, Oregon telling how she uh, lost over $400,000 in, Niger- in the Nigerian email scam you've read so much about. So when you're uh, laughing enough about the princes and the <laughs> prime ministers and you get these letters in the mail, you're thinking, my God, why do people waste their time? That's why. There it is right there. All right, uh, we'll take a break. Coming up next, in studio, Cheech and Chong. Stay tuned. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. And uh, here we are in studio with Cheech and Chong. Good to see you guys again. Hey, good to be seen. Hey. What's going on? I got a new scam for you. Here, just send me $400,000. I don't explain nothing to you. <laughs> just send it. <laughs> no, I, no, how about this one? Uh, listen, have you been ripped off? Okay, if you've been ripped off, send me $200,000 and I'll get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Or uh, I'll give you a, get you a letter from President Bush. <laughs> <laughs> now, that woman was unbelievable. The more you asked her... Yeah. Uh, the worse it got. Yes, the worse it got. Yeah. And with a straight face, she's telling us this yeah. stuff. I can't believe it. How does somebody like that get their hands on $400,000 in the first place <laughs> is my question. <laughs> Inheritance. Now, now her husband has no retirement. They uh, they mortgage their house. I mean, this is out but, of control. But like she says, oh, how could you be that stupid? And then I, I, I reminded she hey... America voted Bush in twice. <laughs> twice. Twice yeah, in a row. That's true. <laughs> Everybody was asleep at the switch. Yeah. So you guys are in the middle of a tour. We are. Last time we saw you, we were about to launch the tour. And uh, it's doing really well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We've been on the road for a couple of months and been selling out every place. Yeah. And Cheech's knees all better. And yeah. It's, it's better than it was. He's growing hair. And Look yeah. at that. Yeah. And are must- you guys having fun out there? Oh, oh. yeah. Tons. So much fun. What are these crowds like? You know, they're they're surprisingly young. Uh, I would say eighty percent of the audience is between thirty and forty, they come, which means that most of them weren't alive last time we were on stage. <laughs> I, I call them a, a, our target audience. <laughs> they're everybody that shops at Target. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to turn this into other cash, though. You know, <laughs> I understand. Coming, some Cheech and Chong are coming to Nigeria. <laughs> Oh, I'd stay away from there. Man. Yeah, baby. Oh. Now, t- now, tell for people who haven't seen your your show yet, uh, the the one you're doing now. Tell us about it. What's it like? Well, it, star- it starts off with my wife. She opens the show and she like uh, gives a twenty twenty five minute introduction. You know, uh, and uh, how to understand Cheech and Chong? Yeah, <laughs> how to what, properly laugh at. Cheech what and it was Chong. like going, you know, living with Tommy Chong when he went to jail and all that stuff. And then she brings Cheech and Chong out, and Cheech comes out first, and he's the low rider. 
So he gets in the car and he starts, the imaginary car. And yeah, he we do a lot of our greatest hits and a lot of stuff we've never done before on stage together yeah. before, a lot of music. We do skits and then in between I do a little stand-up and then uh, and then we start... Uh, music. Music. We have a little music portion, yeah. you know. Our, our show is perfect for the ADD crowd, you know, the ADD Game Boy uh, generation. Sort of attention yeah. span, yeah. yeah. By the time they get... You know, they've had enough of this. Okay, we change and we change, we change, and and we end up singing, we dance, we uh, yeah. That's what turns into Bollywood at one point, <laughs> yeah. or ch- Cholo wood, I call it. Cholo wood, yeah, yeah, Cholo wood. And then we beg for joints, and people throw dope yeah. on the stage, and uh, it's great. And are people lighting up as usual? Oh yeah, well, it's the light we, of America too. We, or... Yeah, it's the light of America too. But we 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 don't really see it. At least I don't. But you can smell it. it. It's yeah, like yeah, smell a vision. You know, all of a sudden you're in the middle of a uh, smell of vision. You know, the really weird thing is that we have drunk white guys in suits trying to get on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't want to know what that means, but it's happened a right. lot. And, 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 a, and a good number of drunk Indians. <laughs> in fact, I had to tell one bouncer, I said, hey, be careful. He owns a casino. You know? <laughs> don't mess with him. <laughs> it's amazing. And a lot of, a lot of people just want to get on stage to run across. Like streaker white, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you guys were big in the streaker era. Yeah, we were, and, the, and plus we we used to in the olden days draw a, a big uh, a topless dancer crowd. For some reason, they really the, all of them came to see us. Now, now they're coming to see us after the show and taking their uh, uh, tops off while we sign autographs. I love that. And the first time I said I, 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 it happened, I was we're, just, we're we're out outside after the show and we're signing autographs. And these two girls, can we t- take our tops off and have a picture with you? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And I didn't even look up. The next thing I know, they're online. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I told my girlfriend about. It. Well, yeah, these girls came over and she's just, oh, I thought that they were not. No, there was a picture. Yeah, and then yeah. and then we get uh, old uh, old groupies that used to know us in the old days. Yeah, and they come by. That's kind of scary. That is scary when <laughs> that happens. One... Grandmother groupies. Yeah. My grandmother said she did you both. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, you don't want to know that story. (laughs) I knew I'd been on the radio too long when there was a woman years ago who met me. She was supposedly doing an article about me, and pretty much she was not doing an article. She was doing me. That's what happened. And that was, uh, you know, 20 years ago. That was your Nigerian scam, huh? (laughs) Well, until, until the past year when I got a call from a woman who had a remarkably similar last name. And oh. so I, I, she did not know that I knew her mother. Oh, that's how you know you've been doing it too long. Nice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Yeah. Oh my. So I, the groupie thing is a little crazy, though. It, it, um, and uh, and I imagine some of them are still looking for the same things they were looking for the first time. And uh, not really. No. <laughs> no, no. Actually, you know, they're, they're more looking for their dues for AARP yeah. <laughs> or, or uh, new uh, poly grip. Uh. <laughs> Can I square some poly grip from you guys? <laughs> I can still take my teeth out and everything, but I don't want them to come on when I don't want them. <laughs> now, you guys are coming to the Gibson Amphitheater. Uh, this is the first Saturday in December. December 6th. Yeah. We went, uh, someone went online. We're, we're getting all these calls for free tickets. And we couldn't understand till they they told us they went online and they're going for like two fifty two hundred fifty bucks a ticket. <laughs> really? Is that right? Yeah. Wow. And so we're we're getting calls from people you know we barely met. Remember? I rem- me- yeah. yeah. Can you hook us up? Yeah. Remember me? I saw you one day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sure. So that's coming up on Saturday, December 6th. And, and you're doing two shows in one night? In yep. one night, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. We do that a lot. And yeah. we, we, uh, whatever city we go to, we've set up, we've been selling out a lot of shows. So they add another show, but they don't have another day. Mm-hmm. So they do two shows in one night. Yeah. I think it's crazy, too, because sometimes the, the second show, you know, they've been, they've had too much time to liquor up. <laughs> 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 and so, and the, unfortunately, they don't pass out, you know, yeah. till halfway through the show. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's odd to get a fight in a Cheech and Chong show, you know. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? I always saw him first. 
<laughs> Let's take a break, and we'll come back with some phone calls for Cheech and Chong. Uh, they're going to be appearing at the Gibson Amphitheater here in Los Angeles on Saturday, the 6th of December. There's going to be two shows. Tickets are available at LiveNation.com. And also, uh, my goodness, you have a, a roast coming up for TBS. TBS is getting into the roast business. Yeah. Yeah. Friday, yeah. yeah they're, they're, once the failure of Boston Market went down, you know, they went, well, we'll roast. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. I'll, I'll wait, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come back with Cheech and Chong. 1-800-5800-TOM is the telephone number. Cheech and Chong and your telephone calls coming up. Tom, 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 like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Cheech and Chong in the middle of their national tour. It's called Cheech and Chong Light Up America. You guys are uh, traveling all over. I mean, it's not just L.A. and we're heard in other places. What are some of the other cities you'll be uh, Oh, you'll we're, be we're to? going to Eugene uh, tomorrow. And I think we're going to, uh, we're going to do the roast in Vegas. And then we're going we're to do a barbecue in St. Louis. Barbecue in St. Louis. <laughs> and then we're going. Then we're going to Vancouver. Then we're going to do the Gibson Amphitheater. And then we're going to do a lot of places. Excellent. It's all on your website, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cheechandchongtour.com. dot com or LiveNation dot com. dot com. There we go. Chong Tour dot com. Right. Let's take some calls here for Cheech and Chong. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Hector on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Um, hey, Tom Likas, how you doing? Cheech and Chong. It's great that you guys are getting back together. I can't believe it. Yeah, mm-hmm. me either. Is this Hector from Torrance? Uh, actually, I'm from Lennon. I'm driving through Torrance right now trying to get home. Okay, man. Well, you know, are you going the right way? Uh, I don't know, man. I hope so. <laughs> you better ask. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Hector. Like in, that, in that movie, in Up and Smoke, where I think I'm parked, but I don't know if I'm still moving or not. <laughs> hey, you know what? I bought tickets already. As soon as I found out you guys got together, I sent my wife. I go, hey, you know what, babe? You got to go get those tickets quick. Good for you, man. I got to wait to sell out, and, and hopefully I get to go to the Rose, too, in Vegas. Well, All right. Be great. Be, uh, yeah, p- please come. Yeah. yeah, you know what? When I was in uh, a little bit after high school, I recorded this um, special on E, where um, you guys were they were interviewing you guys separately about why you guys don't get together, and you were saying I was telling Cheech if we get back together, we're gonna make millions, and you know Cheech was doing his own thing, and I'm glad that you know Cheech got the picture, and you guys are gonna make millions again, man. I'm telling you, yeah, we are for sure. I hope I get to see you guys. So I can get your autograph out there. Yeah. I'm sure you were. And as soon as we make millions, we're going to go to Nigeria and, 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 <laughs> and become a prince. Yeah. <laughs> They're selling princes. Don't, don't, get, don't get caught with the cush again. Oh, no, 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 no more, man. No Thank more. you, Hector. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's James on the Tom Likas Show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, James. Hello, Cheech. Hello, Chong. What hey, up, James? James? Hey, uh, I had a chance to catch Chong out in Oklahoma when I was in college, and the the most memorable part about the show was when I was standing in line to buy a T-shirt afterwards, and Chong was shaking everyone's hand, and this guy, ten feet, in t- ten people in front of me in line, gave Chong his pipe. I don't know what was in that pipe, but Chong took a big old ripper, shook the guy's hand, and <laughs> and, and it was just I couldn't believe what I saw. I was it, like, wow. it was uh, near dope. It wasn't real dope. It was uh, movie dope. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but it, I remember that really well. It was good. <laughs> good stuff. Smoke, man. Oklahoma, huh? Yeah, it was in Tulsa. <laughs> I was in college out there. And yeah. the, the, another funny part was I went to the show, and Oklahoma's real strict about everything. But uh, uh, anyways, I go to the show, and this guy from my class, he was the oldest guy in the college class, Velcro shoes, pants up to his belly button, pocket protector. He was at the show. And I was just staring at him like, no way. Of all people to be. <laughs> hey, well, the Oral Roberts Jr. comes to our show, too. He comes in disguise, though. <laughs> Thank you, James. Let's say hi to Richard on the Tom Like His Show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Richard. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey Tom. How's it going? Hey, Cheech and Chong. What's hey, up? Man. Man, it's a trip, man. You guys, are, you guys are like my idols. But uh, 
I just want to say, hey, Cheech, what's up? Why why don't you grow the mustache back, man? I mean, that that's you. So my my ex mustache. my ex wife got in the divorce, man. <laughs> that was that was it her was favorite her favorite part. part. Yeah. <laughs> what's that? She, she sleeps with it every night. No. Yeah. No, the ex-wife got it in the divorce. I don't think you, you can't grow hair on I, your lip anymore. I can't anymore. grow hair on my lip anymore. So. No, his Russian girlfriend keeps kissing it off. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Man, because all my friends, uh, they ask me, they're all, hey, so is, is Chief going to grow the mustache? Is he going to have the mustache? I said, I, I don't know. I hope so. I mean, last time I seen no, you guys. There was one of the reactions, I can't grow hair there anymore after my penis reduction operation. I don't know if <laughs> What it was. No, it, well, I told you, you know, that's why we weren't together for years. I said, I'm not going back with you until you grow your mustache back. <laughs> and then I realized he's not going to grow his mustache back, man. So, <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. I, I, you know, I was the big mustache uh, uh, supporter for years, and then now I'm used to him. Man. Yeah. As, I, as a matter of fact, I didn't even know we were broken up for the first six years. <laughs> I just thought he was late, man. <laughs> Dude they ain't ever going to come. What the hell's up? <laughs> Alan on the Tom Likas show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hello, Dad. How you doing, son? Good. Yourself? Great. How you doing, Cheech and Chong? Good, man. How are you? Good. I just want to say, I got tickets for the coming up amphitheater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that. Well, don't wait. Go get them. <laughs> I already got the tickets. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Well, get it's more. It's going to be good, yeah. man. But, but, Thank you very much. Hey, time your dope, man. Don't get too stoned before you get there. Oh, we're smoking so much on the way. Oh, yeah. I know. It. Be it's careful, you, man. Yeah, you you fall guys. asleep halfway through, and then you wake up. Hey, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm a first-time caller, so can you take me out with a bog hand? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, okay. Alan, we can. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> one 800 talk You know, those, the, the reason Tommy got a sent to jail was he was shipping... Uh, Bong, bong company was illegal, but now every every person we meet on the road that had like a head shop or something like that that Tommy knew from before, those bongs are worth five, six, seven thousand dollars right now. I'll bet they are. Every yeah. single one of them. Yeah. Of course, your name's on a list somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I don't do it anymore. I can't. I can't say I smoke anymore because then social services come after me. You know. So. <laughs> yeah. Let's say hi here to Gabe. Gabe, you're on the Tom Likas show here with Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Cheech and Chong, what are you guys doing? Hey, we're hang hanging, man. <laughs> hey, so when are we going to see that new Cheech and Chong movie? If there's going to be one? Oh yeah, it's, we're working on it right now, man. We're you know getting writing it and getting it all together. We're just getting the craft service part together. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be yeah. First. We 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 got the Jew we got the Jew part together. We're just working on the other part. So it's coming good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. We're, it's going to be there. Like you, Gabe. Rick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Hey, I just wanted to say it's so great to see Cheech and Chong back together after many, many years. I had the fortunate opportunity to uh, see Tony by himself and never thought I'd get the opportunity to see them back together again. So this is really, really cool. Yeah, well, it's been a lot of fun. Well, if you think it was great seeing me, where do you see both of us, man? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've seen all your guys' movies. It's like yeah. 3D. Like, yeah. like 3D, seriously. You're going to look at us and just say, I can't believe that stage is big enough to hold these guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, Tommy, am, are you done with all your legal troubles and everything? Oh, yeah. Here? Not yeah. yet. Yeah, no, no, it's all done. All done. I'll finish. I'm off parole. I'm off probation. I'm, well, he's looking know. for new legal troubles. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not. I'm staying out of it. I got this... I got this uh, scam going in Nigeria that I'm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he's he's got the he's, he's in bed by ten thirty now. No, whether, really? whether, we're, whether we're done with the show or not. <laughs> well, that's what I hear old the old people have to do. Now I don't know like how old you guys are getting, but like my we're getting up there. We're a hundred. You're a yeah. hundred. Yeah. Between yeah, us. All right. all right. Well, I don't want to take any more of your time. So Tom, could you take me out with the bong hit and thank you, Jesus? I can, Rick. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. That's a real bong hit. Bong hit. Thank you, Jesus. That guy called the show. That was a caller. Really? And now we just keep playing him back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Here's, here's, now that's how it's, it's gone to middle America. I mean, right. it's like, you know the thing that I noticed about Cheech and Chong is that we don't have a, a Cheech and Chong group that likes. It's everybody. It's it's yeah. like every, who doesn't like butter. 
You know, I mean, it doesn't, socioeconomic doesn't make any difference. doesn't make black, white, Asian, Latino, uh, young, old, Republicans, Democrats. It doesn't matter. They all like Cheech and Chong. Yeah. But you guys had attained amazing success. I mean, you had record albums that, didn't you have like platinum albums yeah, and stuff? Yeah, I'm big, big, big. And, yeah. and the movies, big grossing movies. I mean, it, that was mainstream at that point, yeah. even though it started off as something you well, would we, we always said that we were middle of the road dopers. And that, that was the norm. And people used to laugh. Oh, well, that's a funny joke. It's the truth, dude. Of course you know, it is. I mean, you know, I mean, we, we come and look at the audience today, and it's like, you know, they could be watching, I don't know, any, any concert, you know. Now, uh, yeah, look what's happened to Dope since you guys performed last. I mean, um, I don't have a get-together, whether it's a dinner or a party at home, where someone doesn't break out their medical marijuana card. Yeah, Everybody's got one. Yeah, oh, exactly. yeah. yeah. It's a, like a before-dinner drink. <laughs> I had a seven, dinner, I had a seventieth birthday party and uh, it was so crazy because <laughs> uh, my son's medical marijuana people sent brownies over, or yeah. goodies over, goodies, and yeah. they were first timers. Said, mm, "That's a good brownie." Can I have and, more? And, yeah, they, they, <laughs> yeah. It, it got so crazy. I wish I had filmed it. It's going to be in the movie. It was a crazy night. Tim on the Tom Likas show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tim. Long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> hey, so anyway, Tom, I had a story to tell you guys about. I actually went to see uh, Funny Chong at the Improv for my birthday, and we were smoking and having a good old time on the way down to the show, and I got the bright idea to eat a breath before we went in. Uh huh. We're Did sitting there getting some drinks, and it's, it's really warm there. And uh, Tommy was running a few minutes late, and I started getting real dizzy all of a sudden. <laughs> security was out, and I was like, "It's my birthday, and it's Tommy Chong." And so, anyway, they took me outside, and I got a breath of fresh air, and kind of snapped out of it, and, and went back and saw the show. Tommy's wife opened up, and then Tommy came out, and we just had a hell of a good time. And, uh, you know, he hung out and signed autographs. And, Tommy, thanks for that. You know, you're, you're, you're a hell of a man and just one of a kind. Not too many people do that kind of stuff, and we really appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you, but we don't do it anymore. <laughs> no, no, it costs 150 bucks to go back and, 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 and see us in person. We do uh, sign autographs. After. After. As you know, I yeah, just, we do. Yeah, it's like... No, we... we you it's know, good. I mean, it's just, whenever anybody tells us, you know, about signing autographs, you know, I just think of John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Well, That's I'm why, signing everything. I make yeah. him go in front. <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. Or if you sign it first, if you guys are right, I'll sign it. We'll take a break. Cheech and Chong are here. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, here in L.A., you'll see them at the Gibson Amphitheater coming up on Saturday, December. December 6th. It's two shows. Tickets available at LiveNation.com. More is coming up. Tom, Tom, Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is the telephone number here. Cheech and Chong Studio. Let's say hello here to John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hey, hello. John. Hey, how's it going, guys? Tom, I met these guys in East L.A. when I was nine years old. Really? My mom was kind of hot back then, and she was able to get the autograph <laughs> for us. <laughs> really? That's the way to do it, too. <laughs> I'll tell you what, on the set of Cheech and Chong's next movie, right on City Terrace. Oh, wow, I okay. remember that. Okay. Yeah, we, we caught the show out here at San Manuel, and it was my mom and her four sons. You guys were talking about your demographic. Well, my little brothers are in their 20s, and me and my older brother are in our 30s. Wow. And, your, and your mom is 44, right? right? Excuse me? And your mom is 44, right? Yeah, well, my mom's a little older than that. <laughs> yeah, but it was, I mean, the show was great. I, I was hoping for a little more of uh, little Dave in there, maybe even some uh, Mr. Strongberg. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, I, mean, it was, I mean, I'm a big fan. I got all the albums. <laughs> I was raised on you guys. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, you guys are amazing. I'm so glad you're back together. Yeah. Thank you. It's been, it's been a lot of fun so far. Say hi to your mom, John. Thank you, John. Francisco, it's on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hi, Dad. Son, how are you? Uh, good. Are uh, you listening to, to the great Radio Chichen Chan? Hey, dude. Hey, dude, how's it going? Can I get a... Can, can you do that? Mexican-American? Yeah. <laughs> Every night at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Mexican Americans don't like to sing Mexican Americans on For the no radio. For no money on the radio. So then when they do it, they really mess it up. <laughs> Mexican Americans like to get paid for working, and if you don't pay them, they won't work. They'll go back to Mexico <laughs> or America. <laughs> but we have to work. We have to work. We have to work. You so what? I'm gonna go check you guys on Twitter, and and I hope it's great, man. Me too. Thank you okay. very much, man. Larry Come Gals. and check us out. Mexican Americans don't know how to talk in the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Edward on the Tom Likas show for Chicha Chong. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Edward. How's it going, Cheech Chong? What's up? We're what's good, up, man? man? We're just chilling. Hey, I seen that movie, Shrimp on the Barbie. Loved it. Oh, Cheech. thank you. Right on. Uh, Chong, I, I shared the same residence with you a while back up in Taft. Yeah? Yeah, I heard you on the radio saying it was a hardcore prison, man. That was like a nursing home. Well, <laughs> that's for you, maybe. <laughs> that was Sam Snoopy, man. There's no prison politics. I heard you saying you had to get back up, white supremacy guys. Heck no, man. That was the easy time see, I've ever done. See, see how they do it, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, blow your cover right, right away. Right man. away, man. Right, right. Hey, were you in the sweat lodge? Uh, what was that? Where, did you do the sweat lodge? Uh, no, I didn't do that. No, I mean, I had, uh, you know, they did that back in, um, I guess the people that had a supposedly agriculture class, they did yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did yeah. you do? What did you do? What was your job? Uh, I was in the kitchen, man. Oh, I yeah, yeah. But uh, I... I was there when another guy we knew was there, Balco guy, Victor Conte. Yeah? Yeah, I was there with all these famous people, I guess. Uh, yeah, I just yeah. I about a few months, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you were you were gone when I got there, right? Yeah, yeah, I was gone. But then someone had told me, "Hey, Chong was just here." I go, "Chong from Chichen Chong." Oh. They're like, "Yeah," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> oh, I always miss him. I had tickets and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that Chief went up there to visit him a few times. Is that true? Yeah, he went up there one time. I, I went up there one time. Said, Tommy, Tommy didn't want me to come back because they do a, a cavity search every time he <laughs> gets prisoners. Well, that's enough. You know, one once is enough. <laughs> hey man, I can't wait to see you guys do some new movies and they could throw a Pee Wee Herman back in one of your movies. That would be good. Yeah, huh? that's a good idea. Just we'll throw him too. Uh, All right, <laughs> right. Take care, guys. Stop. Hi, bro. Me out, uh, Lacey Peterson. Oh, that's tasteless. Oh, that is tasteless. <laughs> I I am appalled every time someone asks for this. Oh, I I love that the, the, the guy every, every he still denies it, and every guy in prison used that everybody was innocent. Oh yeah. Oh, and I never did that. It's a mistake, and I'm going to get out next week. No, no, yeah, Everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, I like this one. They they can't do that to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do that to me. No. no. no don't don't sign the papers. <laughs> Yeah, they 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 got me. They locked me up illegally. Yeah, yeah, and you know taxes are illegal too. Yeah, paying taxes. Paying taxes right. are illegal. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to pay taxes. No, it's in you the don't Constitution. <laughs> That's the first time we st when we started doing the big prisons in in California. We did them all, and I mean the first time you go to like Quentin. <laughs> Oh, this is where they get the bad guys. <laughs> I mean, there was there was nobody there that shouldn't be there, <laughs> and they knew it too. Yeah, yeah I like that guy. It's a, he was in Camp Snoopy. Camp Snoopy, probably compared to the camps that he was in. I before. bet. Yeah. yeah, he's probably done the whole tour. Oh, you to know he tour. has. Oh yeah, Marco on the Tom Likas show. We're here with Cheech and Chong. Hello. Hello, Chong. Hello, Marco. What's going on, man? Long time. That's Thank long you. Time. Um, nothing. I, I was just uh, like three hours ago. I was on demand and I was watching the AKA Tommy Chong documentary. Oh yeah. Um, hey, hey man, that was that was uh, man, I, you are the coolest guy. Just oh, the way you. you just handled it, just like you took it out of what it totally screwed you over, and you just took it and you're awesome. Both of you guys are awesome. Oh, thank uh, you, man. Appreciate it. Guys, uh, what was it? That one Santa Claus song that you guys did. Santa uh -huh. Claus, a lady commune. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was awesome. 
<laughs> Santa Claus and his old lady commune. commune yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. They lived in the commune. That was funny. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, right. Marcos. Come and see us at, at the amphitheater, uh, Gibson Amphitheater, on, on December 6th. The second show is still tickets. Yeah, second show is still tickets. There we go. LiveNation.com is where you find the tickets to see Cheech and Chong, Gibson Amphitheater, and the whole tour, wherever you might see them. Uh, David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, hey guys. I just got a quick, two quick questions for uh, Cheech. Uh, wh- why were you being difficult all those years? Do you regret it? And will you please grow back your mustache? Uh, not if for a second that I regret it. I'm never going to grow my mustache back. Well, maybe. Never is a long time. No, you know, it's time to... It, we came to the point where it was time to do other stuff. We'd, we'd been together 24-7 uh, for 17 years. Through it. We, and also we did his work. Made albums, did concerts, did movies, and it was time. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> made a lot of money. Oh, yeah. boo-hoo. Did. I made a lot Tell of money. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. He, he went off with, with Don, Don Johnson. Don Johnson made a lot more money. <laughs> <laughs> he went off with Don Johnson. And, and let me tell you, that I learned a lesson. You never learn your Mexican out. Yep. <laughs> you learn it out without a deposit. Make sure you get a deposit. <laughs> I got him back. He's he's overweight. He's no mustache, <laughs> no hair. I don't know what he did with him. <laughs> Rolled him hard and put him up wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. Sean on the Tom Likas show for Cheech and Chong. Hello. What's going on, you guys? Not much. Hey, uh, I'm going to the show on December sixth. Oh, great! But uh, I'm I'm a white guy. I hang out with a bunch of Mexican guys. I got a friend named. Uh, Cheech. Yeah. And my name's Sean, but all his Mexican friends can't say this, so they call me Chan. Chan. Cheech and Chan. Cheech and Chan. <laughs> and we're always partaking in the burning of the green, so I was going to see if you guys could uh, maybe get with us after the show, but we could hook up. Well, you know, we've never been a- take a picture. We've never been asked that before. No. <laughs> no, it'll be a unique situation. Well, the feds watch us. Uh, Tommy can't do anything. The feds are on him, you know, so. Uh, no, it's okay oh, now. Oh, it's oh, okay oh, now. No, I'm, no Obama. Yeah, you're in California oh. now. <laughs> well, well, then Tommy wants to live with you, after, if that's the case. Hey, I'm down, I'm down. Hey, I bet you I smoke more, more than both of you guys put together. I bet you I have, bet too, man. <laughs> we're, we're, you know, when you get to a certain age, it's really irritating for your lungs, so we're in the suppositories now. You know, so <laughs> that kind of, you know. No, let me think. A white guy hanging out with Mexicans, do you think he'd smoke weed? Nah. nah. Oh, what are the chances? I, nah. I'm stopping by the candy store on my way home right now. <laughs> 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 Thank Thank you, Sean, for the call. Thank you guys for coming back. Always hey, it was great, man. Always a pleasure, Tom. Absolutely. Anytime. Chicha Chong coming up at the Gibson Amphitheater on Saturday, December 6th. Two shows, and you can get the tickets at LiveNation.com. Learn more about their tour. If you live outside of Southern California, you will see them all over the place as Chicha Chong Light Up America. Hey, by the way, our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com it's Tom at blowmeuptom.com it's the Tom Likas show